I'm Patrick Ross. Um, I live 10 kilometres northeast of Lucendale in South Australia. Uh, predominantly, you know, 580 rainfall country, all sheep and cattle, 3,000 merino and crossbred ewes, predominantly for wool and for prime lamb. When it came to um, what I was going to incorporate in the yards, uh, I was a bit hesitant to start off with the um, uh, putting in the rotary force. Uh, but because you do so much, uh, you're building so much infrastructure, it's costing a lot of money, um, and it's going to be here for a long time, you've got to think, what are we going to want to do in 20 years' time, in 30 years' time, because this is not going to rush and fall over. So I wanted to make the system uh, absolutely contemporary and with a vision for the future. As far as the, uh, the labour saving goes, you know, it's really hard to, uh, to measure. Um, I actually measure it more in uh, emotional terms, to be quite frank, because if I can walk away from a set of, uh, from working sheep all day, and, I've, and I'm feeling comfortable, I'm not stressed out, my blood pressure hasn't gone through the roof, and all the dogs are still there happy to go on the back of the ute, I've had a good day in the yards. You know, if your yards aren't working, it all goes pear-shaped, and uh, you know, no one's happy at the end of the day, and you actually don't look forward uh, to doing sheep work. Uh, when it came to designing and, and setting up uh, this particular set of yards, I wanted them to be as flexible as possible. Flexibility was the key for me. Um, I wanted to be able to uh, be able to utilise the benefit of having a roof uh, over the top of my yards. I can remove uh, posts from in the middle of the, the yards, just lift them out with a panel on, so you have a, a post and a, and a gate, just pick them up, move them to the side, and all of a sudden there's a big open space in the middle. You know, gates, um, three metre gates are as cheap as a, or exactly the same price as a, as a three metre panel. So, you know, if you, you might want to have a gate there in the future, put it in. Another really important thing, and you don't actually know about these, the little access gates, until you've actually worked in a set of yards. Access, you need access gates anywhere where you're likely to want to climb over a fence. It was only a month or six weeks ago, um, I mentioned to the, they run an agricultural course at Lucendale, and I mentioned to the uh, person in charge that, oh, I was going to be weighing some lambs, if you'd like to come out and see some lambs being weighed. And the girl in charge, she is on a farm here, and she came out and she said, oh, wow, you know, um, this is incredible. And, uh, and she said it, it was down to economics, it was down to um, how many sheep do you run? So, you know, 3,000 ewes. Um, you know, how can you afford to have, you know, how can you afford to have all of this for 3,000 sheep? And for, for my way of thinking, it was how could I afford not to, you know? The reasons, the reasons to keep on uh, patching up um, old yards to make do with uh, what we've got is okay and walking around in mud, you know, you can do that. But at some point, you know, you've just got to, you've got to, it's a paradigm shift in the way you're thinking. That happens in farming all the time, you know, the way people change their, their whole attitude. And, and that's how it is for this. It's here for a long time. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, this property uh, is going to get bigger. Um, you know, there are, you know, people who are going to come onto this property and uh, utilise facility. It's going to be here for 60, 80, 100 years. Um, so, you know, it is money well spent. I think if I wanted to sell it tomorrow, people would, they could look all over all the grass and the laneways and they'd say, but where I work, the stock is sensational.